and maybe ask yourself what would I have done if I were not afraid and what is the worst thing that can happen in life I think it's a little bit <gasps> Wyland said the ocean stirs the heart, inspires the imagination, and brings eternal joy to the soul. Let's investigate that. Hello everyone, I'm Taylor Jane from Sailing Trinity. Welcome to a special five-part series that is serving as an intermission to our Around the Islands in 80 Days voyage. Unlike our usual stories of Greek mythology, in this series we dive instead into the modern tales of present-day sailors. We will explore their most memorable moments at sea, be it for better or for worse, the valuable lessons they've learned as a result of this lifestyle, and their personal advice on living freely and fully. As I venture off on my personal travels this summer, I invite you to join us here every fortnight to dive deeper into a different colorful chapter of these extraordinary lives. Take a second now to subscribe and like the video before we jump in. Once again, I'm Taylor Jane and these are your storytellers for today. Yeah. We'll try. <laughs> we try, we can uh, say hello. Yes, hello, nice hello. to be here. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice to have you here. I mean. yes. <laughs> Yeah, so you start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Marie. I am 60 years old. Um, we are from Sweden. We have been sailing together. We have been sailing for nine or ten years, I think. But I, I was sailing a bit when I was younger, like for five, yes. six years in my 20s. Uh, but then there were kids and stuff like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we, we bought bought our first boat like ten, nine, ten years ago yes, together so. in, in Sweden, in the west of Sweden. Yeah. And, uh, it was a smaller one than this one. And I'm 56 years. We, we come from the west of Sweden. And your name? Uh, Jürgen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. We have, uh, together we have five kids mm -hmm. and together we have also three grandchildren. That Fantastic. we miss every day yeah. <laughs> when we're down here. Yes. But it's lovely coming home. Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay. And I didn't do any sailing when I was young, um, but I'm raised partly on an island outside uh, the west coast of Sweden. Uh, and we didn't have uh, a bridge or, or a ferry to this island, so we, we have our own boats that we used every day to get home and go shopping and wow. so, so I, I've been driving, I've been a lot on, on water but I didn't like sailing then. <laughs> the water has been a very important part of my life always. I think it was a couple of uh, things, not one uh, particular. So, uh, one, one thing we remember is that when we got our first boat and we, we soon realized the um, possibilities that comes with having a boat to more or less go wherever you want uh, without a huge cost. And in the meantime we had some friends uh, getting ill and uh, even died and uh, we realized that life is short. The dream started to form to, to leave this sort of squirrel wheel life yes. <laughs> and get away. I think that's, um, yeah, that's the main reason. Yes, and we always loved to travel. Um, and we had been in, in Greece for a couple of time. Uh, and we have also did, do, did, did some boat hopping, boat hopping. by ferries yes. between yes. different yes. Uh, um, islands in the Cyclades mainly. Yes, yes. It was, and it was wonderful. And, and the last time we were there, we, this dream had started to make shape in, in, in our minds. And then we said, little, little of fun and little of serious, that the next time when we come back here, we are going to come with our own boat. And you did it. And you did it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we are in Greece. We are in Greece, but we are not there. We're now now we don't really know if we are going to to sail to that area because we have now we have learned that it's it's very tricky mm -hmm. weather there. Very windy in the yes. summer. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We hope so. We are in Greece anyway, and that's wonderful. This combination of boat life and and travel is it's uh, 
it's fantastic. It gives you so much possibilities and so much freedom. And we did it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>on the ocean is rather us than the boat, I think. Uh, we wanted the, the aft cabin. Yes. Uh, and we wanted uh, this um, center, cockpit. center cockpit. Yes, yeah. because we feel safe when we uh, we are not so close to the water. And I'm quite tall, so all the boats we had before, I, I've not been able to lay straight yeah. <laughs> and sleep. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so with this aft cabin, it's, uh, it's a very long bed. So it's it's really nice. Yeah, because this is a kind of a, s a small boat to for, for do this thing. Yeah. It's a 35 foot. And, and this type of boat, uh, it's rare to find uh, beds that Jürgen can, can yeah. see. Yeah. Good in. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah. yeah. And I think it was like when, when this was built, 1982, it was the first 35 foot boat where you can enter the aft cabin from inside. Ah, yeah, so the, 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 er the yeah. earlier ah. went down from yeah. the top. So, so that, that we thought also is, is nice. So we don't have to go out to get into the uh, aft no. sleeping cabin. We like her a lot. Yeah, yes, yeah. we do love her. We don't have any secrets because then, then mm. we couldn't tell. <laughs> 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 so, uh, I kind of like many of those small handmade things mm -hmm. that uh, I think sailing life is very much about solving problems. So for example, we have added some mast steps that I made by myself at home uh, nice. and saved like was like tenth of the cost, I think, yeah. compared wow. to buying them. And I think our uh, solar arch. Yes, we have a nice. lot of those. And this, uh, those this tent uh, of, of the cockpit, uh, we are very satisfied with that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, in this kind of small boat, this extra room is very important. Yes, and in winter, here is, is always, nearly always good weather, but in Sweden we have a lot of nitta. Uh, yeah, we, uh, how we, do you say we use it, it even use, more yeah. because it's cold outside. It's, and, uh, it's even more, more important uh, to have it in, in, in yeah. yes, and to to be able to drive inside uh, this tent mm -hmm. is is very nice. We we couldn't do it before, so it's not so beautiful, but it's very practical. Uh, if we count counting our home country, Sweden, it's, it's nine countries and we, we started with, uh, with Norway uh, before we started this trip. So Norway's, Norway... Some kind of training. Yeah, <laughs> to, yeah it was really. A little bit further. Yeah. And so Norway and Sweden and then we are Denmark because mm -hmm. yeah, we followed Denmark's east coast and we have been there a couple of times also before. Uh, and then we were into Germany. Uh, Netherlands, Belgium, France, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Italy, and Greece. Oh. I think that was all, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Germany, 
Germany, Netherlands, Belgium and France was the inland waterway, so it was on canals and rivers. We, we got five centimeters to yeah. spare ah, in, the, in the drop. Uh, oh, underneath? Under. Oh, underneath, yeah. yes. It was kind of stressful to get through, <laughs> yes, but, yeah. uh, but we made it and uh, it grows a lot in the canals mm -hmm. with algae yeah. and yes. stuff like that. But uh, it was a really nice trip. And it was a really uh, nice trip. Uh, feels very safer. good adventure safer than the trip around the sky the bay of biscay and, uh, and yeah. that one <laughs> and including no, sweden think, yeah yes, nine yes. including sweden i think yeah. and, and, the, and the country who surprised, uh, surprised us, us, most. us most it was yeah. i think it was netherlands one uh, the ne netherlands won the price of hospitality yeah. they were fantastic really, really. really nice people we and, felt uh, so helpful. much welcome and warm and love from them it was uh, it was a re really nice country to visit and sadly the opposite was belgium then yes. uh, it was it was uh, kind of uh, i think it depends on where in belgium you, you go but we, we went in the south of belgium and it's very heavy industry very mm -hmm dirty everywhere rough, 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 uh, rough metal garbage lying everywhere <laughs> and yeah. and nuclear plants and so on yeah, yeah. and we, we're not uh, very good in french yes and they they refuse to talk anything but but french more or less yeah so so uh, even the frenchmen were easier to to get to speak english so. <laughs> yes in but france, in france. Yeah, yeah. yes <laughs> and greece of course but we knew that yeah. before uh, the, the greek mentality, mentality yeah, is really. wonderful really and that's one of the reasons we wanted to go to greece actually because uh, it's a lovely country in so many ways yeah, yeah. Where we come from is uh, it's quite different to have a boat. Uh, so for us, it was uh, quite a new experience to be in this area and meet the weather here. It's, uh, it, it's so much uh, changing. The, we the, we the weather systems change so fast and so dramatically. And that, that was very surprising. We have heard about it before, but, but we didn't thought it was it should be so so much so yeah oh. so big changes mm -hmm. um, a little we have been a little bit short of time and uh, we were a little optimistic when we <laughs> when we <laughs> planned that and even I, if we have been on water and on sea so much we we really didn't take enough time for e every passage yes and we wanted so much of course to to be able to have our friends visiting us so, yes. so we but now now we learn that we we can plan a place or we can plan a time but not a place and a time because yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. not yes. good yes. and uh, the south coast of italy underneath the italian foot yes. uh, we had yeah. really rough waves uh, really heavy weather and uh, actually the boat was more or less diving into the waves yeah. So we had water uh, inside the boat, uh, both in the forward it was and the everywhere. aft. Everywhere, yeah. Yeah. So, so that was quite a challenging thing. Yeah. And, uh, it was very big, very short, yes. w very high, and very short waves. Constantly, all yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. All day. And at the same time that we we everything got wet in the boat, we also knew we had to carry on for a couple of days more to to get over to from Italy to Greece yeah. Yeah. within a certain weather uh, window. Yeah. So, so that was quite challenging. Yes, say. it was. Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, like in Sweden, there are quite rough winds uh, also, but they are more predictable. Yes. If yeah. they say it's going to blow from the west, it will. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. And it will do change. for days. Yes. But, but here you have like, uh, it blows from three or four <laughs> different directions during one night yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And that's a challenge when being an anchor, for example. Uh, this this type of birth, birthing we do here in yeah. Sweden we do it the other way around. Yeah. Uh, we go in with the bow. Yes. Uh, and this this um, this boat is like uh, a couple of days ago we heard a good name of it. It's like a it's like a little elephant. Yeah. Okay. The mm, keel turning, the an elephant. turning an elephant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the keel is built in that way. That it's so much easier. It, she's very easy to drive forward. Yes. But when we're going to take her backwards, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's it, it, yeah, it, she is very hard to steer. To steer, yes. Uh, and that was really 
That was scary. <laughs> it has taken some getting used to. Stress. And Marie is normally the one by the wheel, and I, I'm the one running around screaming and pushing him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, uh, as we mentioned, Marie is grown up with driving boats, yes. so, so she's very good at driving a boat. But mm. but this way of doing it is new for us, and yeah. it's, it has been a challenge also. Yes. yes. Every time we were going, entering a harbor or a marina, it was okay now we deep breath yeah. and we talk to our dead parents yes, who can yes. help us <laughs> and yeah. then just focus to get there yeah, yeah. Oh. and there's one more thing of course and it's it's um, being away from the family the, yes of course main, yes. mainly the grandchildren that's of course we we miss the other ones also but the grandchildren changes so them. fast yeah yeah, yeah. And, and it changes so fast when they are like a year old or also a challenge of course and that has also made us adapt our way of living this life a little bit so we, we go home a little bit more often yes. than we were thinking yes yeah i think it would be something like um, uh, face your fear and um, live your life to the fullest yes. and maybe ask yourself what would I have done if I were not afraid? And what is the worst thing that can happen? Dare to do it. I think. That was four sentences. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a very long one. <laughs> you know, I write very long sentences. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> At first, she, she should say, don't let all these fishes use me as a snack. Because <laughs> <laughs> they eat on yeah, her all, yeah, all so the time. It's too much yeah. growth. I mean, she is so too much. Yeah. She, need, she needs to move yes, more. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, then, then I don't think she would complain that much. I, I, I rather think she would say, uh, use me. Uh, I like it rough. <laughs> I take care of you. I take care of you. Uh, don't be afraid. Yes. Something like that. Yes. Because, as I mentioned before, the, um, the limitation is us, not the boat, I think. Mm. The boat is, uh, can take a lot more than we can. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she would like to get up to get washed a little bit often, yeah. more often. <laughs> yeah, by the sea, <laughs> yes. by the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> One big thing that is that we dare and we can more than we more than we think and it's important that you think about your thoughts because the power of thought is very powerful yeah and, um, and another thing is that uh, i think people from all over the world uh, are very much more or less the same yes. <laughs> uh, it's easy to think when living in a, in a small part of the world your whole life that that everything outside is so strange yeah. and, and uh, maybe even dangerous. Yeah. But uh, when meeting people like in this marina from, like you're from Australia and we have people from South Africa, from uh, the States and yeah. everywhere. And uh, we all share more or less the same fears and the same, uh, same uh, joys and everything. So, so we're not that different. A very good upside in doing this life, I think. It's a little bit. Dad and Hov. Ah, oh no. Is it? And our next goal is to try to get to the Kaiklades and the island of Milos mm -hmm. that we love so much. Yes. Uh, and that's a specific goal to get to Milos because we have memories from yeah. there. Beautiful. Yeah, we, we've been there when we were boat hopping, yeah. uh, actually on our wedding journey. Yes. We were at Milos yes. uh, and uh, other islands in the Cyclades. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, uh, nearby it's, there. it's a really lovely island, we think. We'll try to do that next spring, I think. Yeah. Because uh, hopefully the melting is not that mm. uh, heavy in the spring. Yeah. 
yes. but after that we don't really know no. and then we will let the flow take us yeah where we want to yeah <laughs> <laughs> Make up your mind and start taking action. Yeah, that's important. And uh, you will encounter fear. Uh, so ask yourself the question, uh, what is the worst thing that can happen? Because it is a, a tough decision to change your life. But um, the upsides are very good. Yes. So, but, but I think one thing is that is very important is to, to set a goal where uh, that's time limited. Because many people have goals, uh, talk about things they want to do, but the action doesn't get there. And, the, and they don't have a time when they should do it. And then it's so easy to move it further and further and it never happens. Yeah. So I think that's the best advice. Uh, yeah. Make up your mind and start taking action. Face your fear. Be realistic. Yeah, we have a podcast in Swedish yes. and it's called in English if we translate it it's from working room to sailing dream uh, in Swedish it's kind of a rhyme uh, mm -hmm. from Arbetsrum to Segladrum mm -hmm. <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. and it, it's it's actually uh, our story of from from when we started the dream how we built the dream and uh, when we left and um, the way through our journey down here yeah and uh, when we talk about the different countries we visited and uh, the places we came to also talk about uh, our planning and our goal uh, our way of setting the goals yeah. and, and and all all this stuff that we talked about yes going from the dream to reality yes. it's a, it's a process and it, it took many years for us and it's it's a lot of planning yes so, so if uh, any English-speaking people want a real challenge, <laughs> <laughs> they can try to understand our Swedish podcast. Yeah, Swedish just <laughs> they're very the welcome. Yeah. Yes, yes, maybe. Yeah, they are welcome to listen if they're interested. Yes, <laughs> yeah. of course. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for inviting me on today, yeah, thank and thank you. you for sharing your story. It's very appreciated. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Thank, thank you, you for having us. My yeah, pleasure. <laughs> Well, folks, that's it for today's stories. Don't forget to head over to our channel to catch up on our 80-day voyage around the Greek islands while you're here. We're grateful that you took the chance to escape the ordinary with us today. See you in another video. Bye.